Good morning YouTube, Sergeant Fools here with a, a new video on the Flipper Zero. So you might know me from doing videos uh, for some Hack 5 gear, like the Wi-Fi Pineapple. Recently I bought a Flipper um, and also I bought a, an NRF24 extension board for the purpose of uh, mouse jacking. So this is a 20 euro, 25 euro uh, little board i bought on amazon but you can also find it on aliexpress it's made by Kashin. don't think it mentions anything like a version number but this one seems to be an improved version above the one we all know with the blue and the black board anyway um i got two mouses over here i got a, a g700 an old one comes with a dongle that says 6 series on it and I have a M705 which is this one both can be found with the sniffer but only the G700 seems to be jackable because this one uh, I was able to inject the script uh, but this is a broken mouse battery uh, is over here completely died so just put a temporary battery in it for the sake of the test so as you can see it moves it works so let's see let's dive right into it turn on the flipper so this is running extreme firmware just the latest from the web nothing funky in apps we go to gpio and then We go for NRF24 sniffer. So as you can see, sniffing says no. With the OK button, you can start sniffing. I put my sample rate with the left key, arrow key on 2500. I leave the transfer rate at 2 megabytes per second. And important is the moment you start sniffing, this will say yes. If it doesn't, sometimes it's stuck, you need to reboot your flipper. The moment you start sniffing, you need to start moving the mouse. That's the mouse, it's very important, otherwise it cannot detect it. Uh, let's see if we can keep a steady focus, because I'm gonna do one hand holding a camera. Let's see where it goes. So yes, and now I start doing circles with the mouse. And this can take a while, so it has more than 100 channels we're going to loop through. Before I made this video, I was a bit lucky, found it very quickly below channel 10. <clears throat> but other videos on, uh, on the internet say sometimes it takes forever. And I also had cases where it doesn't find it. So now it says found zero, unique zero. That needs to change to 1. And this, this process, the sniffing process, works on both mice. So also the, the 107, I was able to find it. Not the very first go, took a couple times. I did an attempt before this video, and I was already over 40, channel 40, and I didn't find it. A bit frustrating why the channels change. I would say, yeah, a mice is programmed on a certain channel and it, it's always the same, but maybe it has to do with the address. See, it blinked green and there it says, found one unique one. So now we stop the process by pressing OK. I'm going in the back key. And now the next step is to go to the mouse jacker. NRF24 mouse jacker, we press OK, and then it asks you for an address. So with the left and right key arrows, you can say uh, hoops room, but I only have address index one of one. If you have multiple, you need to find the correct address. Usually it's the latest. Press OK, now it asks me for a ducky script. Sometimes it also tells me to plug in the board. You fix that by just removing the board, plugging it back in, and it will work. Um, Extreme firmware comes with the window demo windows 
script so running ducky script and there we go so i saw a little pop-up and it started to do the open notepad and just for so i turn off the mouse but as you can see Now it's stopped, but the script is still going. So now it's stopped. So let's try to run it without the mouse being enabled. So I powered it off. Dongle is still in. So let's press OK. I'm gonna close this one, save no. I'm gonna go to the windows again. Right, let's see if I can do this with one hand. With a bit of focus. There it goes, it starts typing and it's gonna run the script. And this one is still powered off. So the, for, in terms of a hacker, what I could do, that, li that t tiny little dongle is, is so small. If you have a victim computer, just plug it in. The, the address is in, uh, in your flipper. All you do is call the address. Almost nobody will notice a little dongle like this. And even if they did, yeah, it says Logitech. Most computers, uh, especially uh, on a corporate business like your colleagues, they might already have a dongle in there. So you, know, you want to prank your colleague or uh, if you have a monthly meeting, you want to prank your boss. Just make sure this is in. You're well within range. And you're good. So maybe that's funny. Let's see if it's possible. Let me see if it's possible to get a bit of range. So I'm gonna go back out. Uh, let's go to the jacker again. The address is still the same, load the script, see there it goes, we are now three, mo three meters out of the dongle, Unfortunately, I'm running out of space here to do a longer distance test, but uh, I assume this thing will be able to do much more. Um, I also made a bunch of uh, ducky scripts that can do uh, Wi-Fi password extraction and stuff. I'm gonna, if you're interested, I'm gonna do a video on that later on. But uh, so far, so happy. Final thing before we wrap up. Let's see if I can find anything about a version number for you guys. So I was running this firmware version. Fifty three. That was the latest at the time of recording. So yeah, this board will recommend it, but you might have to go and search on the internet for an older mice that's jackable. Ask your friend to borrow one and then swap them for a new one. They might be happy with the new mice and you just have the dongle, which is in your, in terms of hacking, it's most valuable. So yeah, we're just under 10 minutes on the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to see more, just give me a comment below. Thanks for much, very much. Sergeant Fools out.